Introducing Touch Kitchen, the intelligent order management software from ICR Touch, helping you revolutionize the way food and drink orders are processed. This video will run through the basic setup options within Touch Kitchen, as well as an overview of day-to-day -day use and how to get the best out of the software. Chapter one, choose your interface. Touch Kitchen can be run on any screen with access to a web browser, meaning there's plenty of hardware options to choose from. As well as this, it can be operated in a number of interface modes. The default is touchscreen, which is great for small areas or for use at the pass. For improved cleanliness within the kitchen, however, operating in bump bar mode allows the screen to be placed in any position, controlled by the quick access bump bar. There's more detail on bump bar mode in chapter six. A keyboard input mode can also be used, or a hybrid of them all. Touch Kitchen is fully flexible and can be configured to work in a way that best suits your team. Chapter two, the home screen. Welcome to the Touch Kitchen home screen. This is where all your orders will be clearly displayed and will form the base of your workstation. The order grid fills the majority of the screen with plenty of space to hold multiple orders. By simply zooming in and out on the browser, you can adjust the number of orders that display here. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the peg bar. This peg bar is where all pegged orders will sit until they are either unpegged or finished. Orders can be pegged between courses, meaning that they are removed from the active order grid but kept visible in the peg bar for quick recalling later. For example, when the second course is required. The toolbar sits on the right side when in touchscreen mode and contains the quick action buttons to serve and peg an order, to view recently finished orders, and to change the status of items within an order. A summary display can be seen in the bottom corner, which indicates the number of active and pegged orders. This is great for giving chefs an instant view of how the kitchen is performing. A clock is positioned at the bottom of the screen, which can be turned on or off within the settings. Chapter three, orders. Now let's look in more detail at the individual order display. Orders can be in one of three statuses, either active, pegged, or finished. Active orders will be clearly displayed on the order grid and follow a consistent format. The header can be configured to show details like order number, check number, table number, or web sale ID. This will be followed by the timer, which can either count up from when the order was first received or count down from a specified preparation time. A category and relating icon can be displayed to help with easy identification of eat-in or takeout orders, for example. These categories and icons can be configured to best suit your business. Order index numbers can be turned on, which provide a consecutive number on each of the on-screen orders. This is particularly useful when in bump bar mode. A traffic light system is in place to visually warn kitchen teams when orders are nearing their due time. Times can be set which will automatically change the order colour from green when it's within time, to amber when it's nearing the due time, and red when it's overdue. Chapter 4. Categorising Orders The items within the order can be split by specified sort method relating to categories, departments, PLU groups or seat numbers set up on your touchpoint till. This means chefs can easily see the full order or configure their screen to display only items within specified categories. With Touch Kitchen in use within a large kitchen environment, this means each station can be configured to display only the relevant order items as necessary. For example, the pizza oven can display only pizza order items and the bar displays only drink order items, while the past chef still has sight of everything. Fully scalable, this configuration across multiple screens provides unrivaled flexibility. The icons and colours of each of these categories can also be customised. Chapter 5. Basic Touch Kitchen Functions Now let's look at some of the basic day-to-day -day functions of Touch Kitchen and how to use it within touchscreen mode. By selecting an individual item on an order, the status can be changed to show it as finished. This change of item status will be shown across any Touch Kitchen screen displaying that order, meaning the whole kitchen team can be kept up to date with its progress. Using the quick action buttons at the bottom of each order, the order can be either pegged or served as finished. These same actions can also be completed via the right-hand toolbar. Once an order has been served, it will be moved to the finished order screen. All finished orders can be recalled by selecting the finished button in the toolbar. 
Pegging and unpegging orders can be finished with a single press. Select the peg button either in the toolbar or at the bottom of the order to move that order to the peg bar at the bottom of the screen. This is ideal for storing orders between courses. To unpeg an order, simply press once on the pegged order and it will reappear in the active orders grid. Chapter 6. Operating in bump bar mode. When operating in bump bar mode, a number of toolbars and buttons are removed from the screen to enable a simpler working station. In this mode, you can see that both the right hand toolbar and the quick action buttons at the bottom of each order have been removed. That's because all of these actions can now be easily completed by utilising the handy bump bar. It's recommended when in bump bar mode to utilise the order index numbers. This means you can simply press the number of the order you would like to access on the bump bar, followed by the corresponding action button. That could be the serve, peg, finished or recall buttons. Bump bar mode is great for use in busy hot kitchen environments where the touch kitchen screens may be out of reach. Chapter 7. How Touch Kitchen integrates with the wider ecosystem. Touch Kitchen forms part of the wider ICR Touch EPOS ecosystem. Seamlessly integrating to ensure improved efficiency, Touch Kitchen will receive orders from every aspect of your business. Whether from a touchpoint till, pocket touch handheld ordering device, biteable app, or even self-service interactive kiosk. Touch Kitchen also intelligently integrates with Collection Point, the customer-facing order progress software, giving you an improved customer experience. To find out more about how Touch Kitchen can improve the efficiency and accuracy of your business, find your authorized ICR Touch partner today.